Oh my gosh, y'all, it is here. This is what I've been waiting for literally all day. This is what I got from the Apple March event. It is the Apple Studio display. So I'm gonna unbox it and then set it up and we're gonna check it out, see how it looks. Uh, there's the LED cinema display over my shoulder. We might do some comparisons with that. I'm Taylor, I'm a software engineer and I got this primarily for video editing and programming some photo editing too. So let's unbox it and check it out. Okay, this is like the shipping box that it comes in. Oh, hi Nova. You wanna be part of the review? Here we go. You are gonna get the second peek actually. Cause I did see it. Oh, oh my gosh. There it is. Studio display. Just gonna slide it off this shipping box. Oh, all right. The back picture of it. I'll turn it over on the side. We get like a side profile. Do we have anything on the other side? Side profile. And then there's the front showcasing that beautiful screen. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me set this down. All right, so there is a Little tab up top. You don't need any tools to unbox this. You just take that off. Let's just pull this out. This is huge. Look at that. There's like solid padding there. You have to like push on the sides here and then it like opens up. Look at that. Like that, that front part that comes forward. That is so beautiful. Try to pick it up here. All right, there we go. Okay, so the display is Actually, not that heavy. Let's look at what's in here. So there is like a little box. All right, and first thing we see is this cable. This is the quite smaller than I expected, the Thunderbolt. Smells very new. And look, that thing is like attached to the box, okay. So now we get some documentation. The black Apple stickers, very nice. Black means pro. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this is a this is a pro monitor, but it's it's a nice monitor. Let's see, is there anything else in here? I don't see anything else. Okay, now we shift our focus to the monitor which actually let's turn it around because there's a little something here. We got like a little backpack. Look at that. There we go. We get that same braided cable. Oh, actually it doesn't smell too good. So this cable is actually attached to the back of the monitor. This isn't removable, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they decided to do that. Seems like, seems very strange considering the XDR display is removable and so is the iMac. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's the back. Holy crap, it's so flat and clean and beautiful. Got those sleek looking ports. Okay, all right, there is the front with another layer of protection, studio display. All right, here we go. Smooth, oh man, that looks very beautiful. There it is, studio display. Bam. I did get the uh, the tilt only one, so I didn't, I thought about getting the VESA mount because I do have like a VESA arm. It's a really nice arm, but then I wouldn't be able to, to put this on just regular surfaces without that arm constantly. So I decided on the tilt and I wasn't about to spend the $400 that Apple is asking for, for like the height adjust. That to me is just not worth it at all. Um, so tilt it is for me, that's fine. I can find ways to raise and lower it, but oh my gosh, this glass panel looks so clean. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna grab the LED cinema display and I wanna show you what this looks like next to it. So here is the LED cinema display. Because of those slimmer bezels, it 
is much smaller. Even the glass looks different. Like you can tell this one is like a mirror. This one, it, it definitely looks like more refined. And let me show you the back of this here too. Like there is the studio display and there is the LED cinema display. They have very similar design language. Just like this one, the LED cinema display is very curvy. Whereas the new studio display, it's very flat design, but overall very similar design language, even down to the ports. Look, it looks very similar. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this hooked up to my 16 inch MacBook Pro and let's see how it performs. And the power cable, go ahead and give it some power. Does it do anything on power? Oh, it actually has like a little boot animation. That's kind of interesting. And these are very glossy screens. So apologies in advance if you can see my lights. Dang, and there it is. It is connected. This is the 5K. It is almost the identical panel to what was in the previous LG display that offer Apple, that Apple offered, but just in a very, very nice Apple manufactured and designed display, which is 100% the route that they should go because they do an excellent job of, of manufacturing monitors. And this is no exception. This, is, this looks absolutely beautiful. It is 600 nits of brightness, 5K, 27 inches diagonal. It is not HDR and it is LED backlit with a single LED light. So you don't get the mini LED that you do on the Pro Display XDR. And this is like 1600 bucks. You do get speakers on the bottom, six speakers on the bottom, but there is like grills up top. So like the sound travels through and it also has a webcam, 12 megapixels with center stage. And another thing, it's got the same processor that's in this phone, this iPhone 11. It has the A13 Bionic chip inside this display, which controls the spatial audio and the webcam technology. I'm gonna check out the sound on this. So I'm changing it to the studio display speakers. The sound coming out of this display makes this 16 inch MacBook Pro sound not so great, which is crazy because this is the, like, the best sounding laptop ever made. Okay, let's try the center stage. So here I'm in like a, a mock FaceTime call. It's so cool, I'll like stand up, I'll back up. So the camera's in frame and it's moving. Okay, down, down. There's my cat being weird. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. If I zoom in, is it gonna like zoom out? No. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Here's the studio display all set up. Got the 16 inch laptop here and the monitor itself. The base does kind of slide around a lot. I noticed even though there is like rubber grips, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot cause it does move around quite a bit. The tilt is very extreme on this. It's much more extreme than the LED cinema display. I noticed like it goes further back. Um, in terms of height, the base stand, this is a good height. This is what I would normally be, ha uh, have my Alienware at on my base amount. 
So this height doesn't really bother me. That's fine. And if I wanted to raise it, then I would just put it on a book or have it on that riser that I have for my LED cinema display. And looking at code is so crisp. The text is so sharp on this. I can definitely tell that it doesn't have as much dynamic range as the XDR display on the laptop itself. Like this definitely looks more contrasty, but seeing this on this huge screen like this just looks really amazing. The, this is gonna be so fun to code with. Here I have Final Cut open on this monitor and it looks really great too. Yes, having this real estate is gonna be so awesome. And the monitor is color accurate, so editing on this is going to be amazing. Expanding it out, I can see the whole timeline. I can zoom in. Oh yes, okay. For Final Cut, this is gonna be very nice. Also, having the ports on the back make it so easy to connect my little Samsung drive here. Just plug it in into the back and you can view all the data directly on here and the Thunderbolt is charging my Mac at the same time. So everything just is so much more clean and organized. Okay, so I know some of y'all have questions about whether or not this display can connect to a Windows machine because I have the same questions. I'm really interested in using this with Windows because I use Windows a lot for various things, including gaming, mostly gaming. So let's find out if this display will connect with Windows. Wow, that's so weird. Interesting. That might take some additional setup to do. Maybe there's like an adapter or something that needs to be in place. That is super interesting. Let's just, let's just connect it back to the Mac just to be sure that I'm not going crazy or anything. It doesn't just connect to Windows at all right now, except for sound, it's it's getting sound, but uh, display is a no-go and I'm directly connecting the Thunderbolt cable to the back of the RTX 2080. Interesting. Okay, let's try the PS5. <laughs> okay, PS5 is on. I guess for now, the studio display is only gonna work with Mac. <laughs> Unless I figure something else out, um, yeah, that's unexpected, interesting. Okay, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to work with the PS5 at all. Like this would have been totally insane, but I was kind of expecting it to work with the Windows PC. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. So that has been the unboxing and the first setup of the Apple Studio display. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I definitely wanna spend more time with this and get like a full review going for this display. I feel like I've only scratched the surface, figuring out what it initially can and cannot do, but I really wanna dive deep into its features. So look forward to the video on that. And if you liked this unboxing video, leave a like. And if you wanna see more content, please get subscribed for additional content and that review video coming later. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.